Aloha, I'm Auntie Kaliko. Aloha, I'm Auntie Root. And today we are going to make Play-Doh. So what you would need to make Play-Doh is flour, salt, water, and oil, any kind of oil. Whatever oil you have at home. So we have vegetable oil because that is what we have at home. And you're gonna need a mixing bowl and measuring cups. So you're gonna need um, one cup for flour, uh, one fourth cup for salt, one tablespoon for your cooking oil, and a half cup for water. Okay, so what are we doing first? So first, you will measure your one, fourth, uh, one cup flour, and then you'll pour that into the bowl. Then we'll add the salt. <laughs> so you wanna add the one cup flour and your one cup salt and just kind of mix it around. You can use a spoon if you want, but I mean, eventually you'll have to get your hands in there to mix the Play-Doh all together. So I'm just gonna use my hands now. So just mix it up, mix it up good. And then what do we do after we mix it together? Then you make the well in the middle. So in case you don't know what that is, because when I tried this the first time, I was like, what do you mean make a well? What you wanna do is just make a little circle around in the middle. I don't know if you can see this well, but just, you know. So we can add, what are we adding to our well? You're gonna add your half cup of water. Okay. <laughs> add your half cup of water and your oil. Okay, so I'm gonna add the I measured this out already, but this is the one tablespoon of oil. And you're just going to add that into the middle of our well. And then I forgot to pre-measure the half cup of water, so I'm going to go ahead and scoop that out. If you wanted to, we're not going to do it for this one, but if you want to, you could add food coloring. Um, what I have at home is the frosting colors. You can do that or just the regular drop food coloring into the cup with your water and mix it up before you pour it in here. So this is my half cup of water into my well. And then we mix. So mix everything all together. So sometimes when you're making Play-Doh too, um, the consistency is off. It could be like maybe what you didn't put enough flour, maybe too much water, not enough salt. So when you're mixing it all together, you just kind of want to see what it's like, feel how it is. If you want, you can add more flour in because it might be a little too mushy or if it's too dry, just add in a little bit of water and just kind of play it by eye. So this is just a, um, a simple, no cook, Play-Doh recipe that you can just go ahead and, and tweak and play around with just so you can see. see I'm noticing with this one right here it's kind of feels kind of sticky so what I would probably want to do is after I get all of this in is maybe just add in a little bit more flour and just kind of play around with it I mean it's Play-Doh just play around with it see how you like it or if you like it sticky you know you do something different with that but that's just the general of how you make it. So what I did last night was what Auntie Root is gonna show you. Let me move all this stuff. She made purple. I made, yeah, I added a little bit of purple in there for some color. So that one actually, that one came out, this one is tacky. This one actually came out pretty good. So see, it, it, it never comes out the same way twice. So you just gotta play around with the recipe and see what works best for you. And if you wanted to add um, scent, oh yeah, Sorry, then if you that. have um, extract, yeah. this is peppermint, have orange. Um, orange, and coconut. That's yep. what we had at home. This one doesn't have scent right now, but if you wanted to, you could also add that. Yep. For add a few drops in there, mix it in there, and then you'll get a little bit of scent. And the good thing too, it's edible, so if your, your child happens to eat it, it's okay. It's just flour, salt, water, and oil. Yeah, that's it. And if you wanted to add things that you have at home, 
We happen to have these and you can just use this and have them. Mash it. Or if you have cups at home, you can use that as a rolling pin. Anything you have at home. Or just have them just use their fingers and mold it. So that's all. Thank you. Thank Be you. safe, everybody. We hope.